we go and stuff that one up. Okay, let's put this on video. Okay, what I'm going to do today is look at the, um, from different angles, and we'll see how we go in putting it together. So, what I'm going to do today is use the Circle of Life Tarot. If you haven't used this before, this, this is a round deck. Um, it's got very, um, sort of very fey sort of images, which are quite cool. So you can see there the different energies, the different um, images. Okay, so shuffling can be a little bit tricky, but not too bad. Um, it seems to be quite a good sort of thing. Now when they come through, I find you don't really have the reversals that you normally would get with a lot of the other decks. When, you, when you're working with a round deck, you'll find the cards may fall at a different angle, whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to point the camera at the table. So excuse me while I just shift this down so you can see what I'm working with here. So I'm just going to shift slightly. Okay, so first two cards are falling out. Two. This is, the, this is for what lies ahead this week. So I feel like some of the cards are actually being pulled out. They're, being, they're jumping. So, and you can see that the cards, in this case, aren't. And I've got no idea how many cards, oops, how many cards, there's no one there. How many cards I'll end up with today. So we're just going to sort of go with the flow and see what we get. And see if there's anything else that lies ahead for us for the week ahead. So we just, so you can see, oh, the cards are sort of flying out. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Usually there's a certain number and it's for a reason. So we just sort of go with that. Okay, I just don't feel like there's any more. Now that's it. Okay, so I put those to one side, and I pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've got eight. So this is the what the first card. So I'm just going to put them back in the in the order, so it makes sense. And I feel like it's going to go like this. So we've got two of wands, ten of swords. We've got a knave, knight, knight of cups, sorry, knight of cups. You've got five of coins. We've got six of swords. We've got nine, so this, eight, is it nine? Yeah, just nine, so it should be the hermit. No, oh, it's t 11, sorry, 11. It's reversed. 11. So this is, um, oh, that's the knight, so that must be the knave, knave of cups, sorry. Knight of wands. Always get a little bit confused sometimes with these. All the different decks, you sort of have to get back into them again. I haven't used this for a little while. So this is the ten of cups. So we're going through and we're looking at imagery, we're looking at what the cards sort of mean. I get this two of wands, there's a sense of um, Gemini, a sense of twins, if you like. So you can see that the cards here, what you're looking at here, two of wands to me is about decisions being made. There is a possibility, you're, maybe you're working with another person on some level. So you could be working with someone else. Um, you may be seeing two different points of views, maybe looking at different things. Now, it's got the snails on here, so I get a sense of having to move slowly with it. Don't be in such a rush. Normally, wands is quite a swift movement, but I feel like this is a sign to you to slow down a little bit. It doesn't need to be um, so strong. Also swift in regards to what lies ahead for you. You've got Ten of Swords. There's a sense of things ending, things finishing um, mentally, maybe in your own thoughts and ideas. 
you got this um, knave of chalices, knave of chalices, all about this person who's coming in. They've got this weight, emotional weight, they're carrying on their shoulders. They're easily hurt with what's going on. I just feel like there's this weight, this thing that's just weighing them down emotionally, really, really strong. So you've got this five of pentacles or five of coins, and that's very much a sense of this card here. Um, it's very sort of crafty, um, very symbolic in what's going on. You can have a look at this card here. So you can see this card, and you've got this sense of creativity coming in. They've got this project to make something, and it's just taking its time. It could be a challenge. It's quite a challenge to struggle, an overwhelming sense coming through. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff happening, which is quite important. And here you've got this six of um, swords, six of swords telling us that there's a shift, there's a movement going ahead with what's happening. So I feel like there's a shift in what's actually happening for you mentally. You might be moving on to the unknown, but it could be smoother waters, which is quite important. You've got the strength card, 11, I know this is 11, but it's strength, and so you're looking at courage and what's actually moving ahead for you. So it's about having courage, having the strength, having the endurance, the stamina to achieve what you need to. Knight of Wands talks about movement, things happening, movement and things happening for you, what's important, and you've got this sense of everything, sort of the ten of um, chalices talks about sort of hopes and dreams and everything sort of coming together. And what's actually happening for you. So I feel like overall there is definitely some challenges and points of view maybe with somebody else. Maybe you're not quite seeing um, there are choices and things that you need to make and you're not quite sure where you're going with that. So that could be part of the process. There's a sense of things actually needing to end. You've got this weight that's quite emotional that you're carrying on you. So you've got the sense of actually um, feeling like everything's sort of um, a challenge, an you know, and there are opportunities to overcome that challenge, those struggles, and it might be about you actually changing your perception, maybe moving into much smoother, into the unknown, which could be smoother, because you're walking into the sunset or sun into the sunrise. Um, it is about endurance, it is about having that strength and motivation to where you want to be. There is a courage to get where you need to be. There could be the sense of having to get all the information you need, having to awaken some desires, some opportunities, and feeling like everything's sort of coming together. Everything is sort of happening as it should. So that is the um, Circle of Tarot, Circle of Life Tarot deck with the Cartes Crossing. And that's it for the Instagram. So we'll work on that one. And so um, now I'm going to look, continue this with um, the YouTube channel. And we're going to look at the Intuitive Soul Oracle by Lisa Williams. And I love this. Whoa. <laughs> it was a pullout. Okay. So let's see what card. I'm sure I saw four, three cards fall out. Now I only actually have two. So just give me a second, just in case. Oh, I thought more cards fell out. That was a that was a trick that I had. Okay, so cards we've got is wealth. Okay, so wealth is doesn't necessarily mean finances. It can be wealth in other areas. But it is about a financial loss or gain. Now I'm getting a, I'm getting a gain. I feel like there's a loss. Um, there's a financial gain in some way. It's a blessing, and accepting you are worthy with love and 
And I show. So I feel like everything's sort of coming together. We've got good luck. You've got the four leaf clover here in this card. If I look very closely, what is this card telling you about wealth? You know, if you had a windfall, if you've got an inheritance, you've got everything sort of coming together, which is kind of important. The next card we've got is secret. So I feel like um, you might need to actually keep this wealth a bit of a secret. Don't try and tell everybody about it. Keep it quite quietly. Um, there is a sense of needing to communicate, but the communication can be about self-expression, can be about talking to someone that you can trust. You know, not everybody is trustworthy in regards to what you need to communicate. Needing to um, talk with others. Okay. I What do those three cards actually mean to you when you sit quietly with those three images? I think that's really important for you. To actually sit quietly with the wealth, the abundance, prosperity, and actually might need to not talk about it. Keep it quiet. I feel like there's that communication in secret is saying to you, don't talk about it. Actually keep it secret. Be careful who you're actually talking about this wealth to. Okay, let's look at the animal card for the week ahead. Okay, so what animal are you going to focus on? And this is the um, Spirit Animal Deck by Colette Baron reed And I love this deck. Okay, so what animal or animals are we going to actually focus on for the week and I'm just going to get choose three okay so let's have a look at this these cards are a bit I find quite difficult to sort of fan out at the moment I still sort of think I'm just getting in here so hiding it's in here somewhere ah here it is that's one And one more is in here somewhere. Just three. Okay, so let's put these cards away. That's one side. And the animal cards are horse spirit. Freedom is yours. So this is about. Let's have a look here. Oops, sorry. Horse spirit. Okay, so Horse Spirit is all about how you find your own freedom. Okay, how you choose to react. You have the freedom to how you react to a situation. You have a freedom to what you think about a situation. Okay, nothing can change that. So using the Horse Spirit to find your freedom. Okay. Next one is Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured. So that's telling us that you're going to go through a rebirthing on some level. You're going to go through some changes, some transformations, a sense of renewal. Connecting with the Bat Spirit allows you to find your um, rebirthing. Rebirthing within oneself. And to be reborn. The last one is Buffalo Spirit, which talks about the abundant universe will provide. So again, you've got that wealth, inheritance, the prosperity. It might be a sense of happiness and joy, friendships, um, maybe a really great relationship, something that provides abundance and prosperity in your life. Not necessarily with money, but definitely plenty of aspects. Okay, so that's the buffalo spirit within your journey. So that's what this week is going to be about. So I do get quite a bit about finances, um, overcoming some challenges and things, everything coming together, changing your perspectives, maybe a thing's ending. Um, 
and so that you can start again, but there are some emotional issues involved with this um, journey. So I feel overall, let me shift this back up here. So we're talking to me, but you didn't think. Okay, so you feel like everything's sort of coming together, everything's sort of moving in the right direction. There is a wealth in your life, a prosperity and a bunny. You need to, you know, and I feel like everything's sort of coming together with hope and um, joy and peace. And everything's sort of moving in the right direction, says that flow, but. Sometimes you don't need to talk about it, don't shout out about it, keep it quite quiet, keep it um, within yourself, maybe trust somebody, just one person, just be very careful about who you trust. I keep getting be very wary about who you trust, um, and it is about your freedom, it's not what about everybody else thinks, and maybe you've got some financial stuff that's actually giving you the freedom that you need. So there's some things to really think about overall in this um, journey. So that's with the Animal Spirit cards by um, Colette Baron reed So you've got that sense of actually coming together, which is quite important. So there you've got your animals. You've got your horse, your bat, and your buffalo. Okay, so that's all, sorry, horse, bat, and buffalo coming together. Okay, so that's your animal cards. Then you've got your wealth, secret, and communication. So, you know, what do those images invoke within you? Take a moment, take a breath. Then you've got your two of wands, ten of swords, knave of chalices, five of pentacles. Six of Swords, Strength, Knight of Wands, Ten of Chalices, um, and the Circle of Life Tarot. So think about um, your choices, what options, and who you're working with in regards to maybe an adventure or of some sort, an enterprise, a business opportunity maybe of some sort. Think about what's ending. You know, what could be um, causing you some, an ending of some sort. Allow it, I keep getting a failure, a fall, you know. Something's going to um, maybe hold you back a little bit. Could be a delay on some level. Um, it's going to cause a bit of a burden emotionally to you. Can be a challenge um, financially on some level. Could cause you to have a bit of a shift. And what's going on. Make sure you use your strength, your courage, endurance, stamina. Might take you some time. It might be a sense of patience and working through it. Okay. Um, you need to maybe get all the information you need. You might need to find your passion, your drive, and understand that everything's sort of coming together eventually. Okay, so, so that's the Circle of Life Tarot with the Cartes Crossing. Take care and blessed be.